Oh god, I don't remember what these controls do. Whoops, not that button. Hey folks, it's Grimwit. No, I'm not doing a Let's Play of Pokemon. It's not what it seems. It's not what it seems. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot how much I had to sped up. Uh, okay. <laughs> Where am I? I haven't played this game in forever, not since the Twitch Plays Pokemon thing, because I would play this while having Twitch Plays Pokemon in the background. Uh, okay, so this is a response to uh, M. Kieran's Pokemon question, the Pokemon Alternative Universe questions, and I figured I might as well play some Pokemon while I'm playing that. God damn, I have this sped up. How fast well, is this? Well, screw it. Anyway, I have this sped up, though. Those Pokeballs at your waist, you have Pokemon! This is great! You can carry and use Pokemon anytime, anywhere. I've forgotten how ridiculous this game is. I still remember the line, I like shorts, they're comfy and easy to wear. <laughs> like, what? what isn't easy to wear? I wonder, I guess he he was actually a she, and I, I don't know. So, alright, M. Kieran asked a, a series of questions pertaining to books and Pokemon. And, uh, all right, uh, I am a first generation Pokemon-er. Uh, I have only played first generation Pokemon. It's just the way that I am. Let's take a look at our Pokemon. We have CXPO, a Hitmonchan, I believe. We have Digrat, because Digrat, he, he always helped. Linder, don't remember. The False One, which of course is, you know, a Flareon. Bird Jesus. And this guy, who I, I think he's he's a uh, slave Pokemon, just there to cut. So uh, let's see where the heck I'm going. First question: How did you first discover Pokemon? Uh, <laughs> card game, no joke. Me and my uh, me and my boss when I was working at Subway. Uh, kind of got into the Pokemon card game. Uh, I have, I played Pokemon after that. And after I got him involved, like I totally got him addicted with, to the card game. And then I got him addicted to the actual Game Boy game. And we both got a color Game Boy and started playing Pokemon separately. Uh, let's see, question two, favorite Pokemon game, card game. I haven't played it in a long time, but somewhere I have like the actual Pokemon card game game which is so meta, I love it. Harden, Metapod Harden, favorite Pokemon. Okay, I'm gonna reveal myself a little bit here because my favorite Pokemon is not act doesn't actually have anything to do with me, I just love him. And that is the Mankey. Not the Primeape, the Mankey. I love Mankey. I'll do the Mankey dance and sing embarrassing Mankey songs. Oh no. Dude, you have no idea what you're in for. You have no idea. I'm I'm up for the end game. What are you What are you throwing at me, dude? Come at me, bro. <laughs> Weedle. <laughs> oh, you're adorable. You're so adorable. You look like those characters from uh, what was that centipede's name from uh, the Mario games? I can't remember. It's not a Hitmonchan. It's not a Hitmonchan at all. It's a Hitmon Lee. Question four: If you were a gym leader. What would your gym's theme and Pokemon type? Oh, what would be your gym's theme and Pokemon type? I'm good at reading. I'm a good reader. I can read. I don't, I don't know. Honestly, I wouldn't be a gym leader because, well, no, I take that back. I would be psychic. I would be totally psychic and I'd be like more evil than Team Rocket if I could be. And that would be my, my theme. Just like have these Machiavellian uh, challenges that have to be overcome by these poor kids who are, are like super young and they're just like, we, we just want this badge. Oh, you want the badge, do you? Are you willing to sacrifice your own parents for that badge? <laughs> or like get them set up in like these evil saw situations. Like I would turn dark. Pokemon would be a dark, dark game with me as a gym leader. It would not be a good thing. We should not do this. Don't let it happen. 
Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, you would walk in and be like something out of Silent Hill would be my gym theme. Why was this back here? All right, well, whatever. Uh, I vaguely remember what I'm doing. What am I doing? How do I do things? How do, how do I Pokemon? How, I've forgotten how to Pokemon. Jesus, what's wrong with me? I've forgotten how to Pokemon. I don't remember. I don't remember how to Pokemon. How do I? How do I cut this tree down? Crap! Oh my God! <laughs> what is wrong with me? Uh, next question. While I'm working this out and just going through the options, uh, if you lived in the world of Pokemon, would you want to be a Pokemon master? And if not, what else would you be? I would want to be a Pokemon master. I would want to be the very best, like no one ever was. And uh, again, not for the for the right reasons, for all the wrong reasons. Just just because of my sick, sick fantasies of of power play and so forth. So yeah, I'd be like, uh, sure, we'll. Uh, hey, I learned how to Pokemon. <laughs> There we go. All psychic Pokemon too. It would be all psychic Pokemon. I, w I would totally get myself some, uh, I don't know, a couple of Abras maybe and have these like absurd power play things going on in the background. Just like subtly alter people's minds. And that would be the sole reason. Just get to the final Elite Four. And, uh, except for, uh, what's her face, the, uh, the psychic one. Everybody else would be like, you know what? You've passed. Like, really? I don't have to fight? No. No, I, I don't think you do. It is my choice. Just that kind of, that, that kind of uh, absurd <laughs> thing. Just coast through it all. Once you control people's minds, man, things get nasty. Uh, let's see here, um... Share a funny story related to Pokemon. So, okay. Pokemon scene. 27 own. Professor Rokes. I still need them. I think he's like that until the very end. I think if you catch, like, all the Pokemon in this game, doesn't Professor Oak, like, even if you don't get, if you get all the all of the Pokemon in, in blue and not in red, doesn't Professor Oak still tell you, you need to catch more Pokemon? I don't know. I don't know. So, favorite story. Uh, I've got a couple. Man, I've actually got quite a few stories. Uh, but I think my favorite one is when I'm playing uh, the Pokemon card game. This was first Prince. Like, first edition card game was still out. And uh, my boss, Jimmy, had the habit of printing his own Pokemon cards. He would, he would print it on sticker stock, and then he would uh, put that sticker over a energy card, and he would just make up his own cards. And uh, one of the cards I distinctly remember was Bitch Slap. And it didn't do anything in-game, but it allowed you to, uh, to reach across the table and bitch slap whoever your opponent was. So, uh, <laughs> during a tournament, I, I don't have the badges anymore. During the tournaments, uh, Jimmy and I would go to these tournaments uh, at the local game store, and all these kids would be around. And we're like, I'm 20, Jimmy's 30. We're old men compared to these kids. And one of the kids takes a look at this card. You know, I just kind of hold it and say, well, you know, there's this card. But you don't want me to play with this card. And he's like, that's not a good card. Of course, he meant that's not a card you can use in a tournament. And I'm like, not a good card. Shuffle it into my deck. Let's see. You. <laughs> can you kill me off? Can you get all of your prizes before <laughs> I get to the bitch lap card? Let's see if it's not a good card. Ah, <laughs> oh, good times. Man, I was a bully when I stop and think about it. I was, I was... Terrible to kids. I guess I guess it's because when I was younger I was bullied and I just kind of got my revenge on these poor kids. 
What am I doing? Where am I going? Why am I here? Oh well, fuck it. Alright, so, on to book questions. Pick one of your books or work in progress, which is, uh, um, the working name right now is... I don't think I had it. I think the working name was just Anilo, because all of my books right now are Anilo related. Um, so I'll just do the one that I'm doing revisions for. What is the name of this book and what is it about? So, Drake Felfkin has received a letter from his sister and that she was in trouble in the town of Anilo, which is a capital of Mooms. There are different races in this world. Mooms are the youngest of the race and the most troublesome just because of the way that they think and do and what they mean for the world, but mostly because of their magic. Uh, every race has a different kinds of magic. Drait is a felf, being felf kin, and uh, his race's magic is time, but he's not very good at magic. He's mostly just, uh, just a clock maker. It just minds his own business. But his sister uh, spent much time in Anilo, which is many things. Amongst many, it is a trade town. She sends a distressing letter to him. When he goes to see her, about two days, two to four days travel from his hometown, he finds that she is dead. And this is a... Uh, the level of fantasy that we're in here, there are no detectives. When somebody dies, it's just, they're dead. Uh, Mooms do not like death, but this looked like a suicide. So, they just shrug it off. Drake's the only one who believes it was not a suicide, and he goes on a mystery adventure trying to figure out who done it cuz that's the kind of mystery novels i like is who done it question 8 what or how different would the story in your book be if pokemon existed in that world meh let me see usually there are six major races there are nine great races each of them having an individual kind of magic but pokemon themselves are magical you know, Pokemon would be tools, I think. I think that would be the major difference to the world, is they have their own magic. And, uh, like Zubats, for example, who can do these sonic attacks, you know, or, or uh, Onyxes would be used by the Marfs a lot. I don't know. I think everybody would be lazier, honestly, because you have these Pokemon that'll just do this stuff for you. Hmm. Yeah, that would probably be it. Actually, no, think about it. Other than the fact that the, uh, the different races in my world have magic, it wouldn't be that too much different from the Pokemon game. Where the hell am I going now? Where's, like, the Ledge of Doom that took Twitch, like two days to get past. It's around here somewhere. Um, let's see, next one. Uh, question nine. How do legendary Pokemon fit in your book? In the world of Anilo, the, the world's name is Mashta, which is a felf word meaning the world. The nine races each have a patron god, and each god is based on... Um, each god is, is an animal, totem as it were. So each of the races are based off of an animal. If we think of it like that, then Pokemon, legendary Pokemon would be like Titans, demigods. Not gods per se, but, but just one step below what the gods are. How did I not get this? And I must have been in a rush when I came through here. What the hell? Huh. Okay, question 10. How would Pokemon be treated in your book? I just finished that. They, first off, how are Pokemon treated in this? Let's get this straight out of the way. Um, in the world of Pokemon, Pokemons are slaves. 
they they are sentient creatures being made to fight each other or work on construction things if you go by the cartoons pokemon are slaves let's let's not mince words in my book um Anilo is one of the few cities still left that allow slaveries. And I was actually talking about this with my wife. Uh, one of the huge themes in the book is the nature of freedom. Because of... Mm, is Drake the protagonist or is Quill the protagonist? I would say probably Quill is the bigger protagonist. I define protagonist as um, the person who goes through the greatest amount of change. And Quill is a slave. It's just, I found a potion in this, in this, in this bush that I was about to cut down. I was going to cut it down, but then I found a potion. And I'm like, fuck that, yeah. Um, Pokemons would be used as tools, but there would be a big question about slavery and how that even fits in the world, you know? Because now more people would, would be slavers. You know, it wouldn't just be Anilo, which people don't look kind... The, the world does not look very kindly on to Anilo. Oh, hell, I'm headed towards uh, Victory Road. What are you doing, Mike? No, you're not ready for this. You're not ready for this. No, I'm going to chicken out. Um, there would be more slavery. That would be the end. That that That'd basically be the difference. People probably wouldn't despise uh, Anilo as much because the argument could be made that using Pokemon as tools is its own slavery. And so it, it would just be, mm, I guess people wouldn't look at as down, as far down upon Mooms because of their particular thoughts on how freedom even works. Let's see here. Question 11. Would gym leaders exist in your book? No. No, because why do gym leaders exist anyway? You know, there's, um, it's kind of a, kind of an artificial thing, isn't it? Oh, I'm out of those. I need to rest up this, this poor Pokemon. It's been doing nothing. But it's been my workhorse the entire time. Let's, let's get him to a, to the po Poke Hospital. Or they will set him on fire and replace him with one of an equal level. I think that's how it works. I don't think they actually do heal, healing. No, it okay. You have like a Pokemon committee, right? In in Pokemon. Um. So I don't. I don't really think there would be a. There might be a smaller one, like in some weird land in the east, that has these Pokemon committees that sets up gyms and badges and victory roads and so forth competitions. But it wouldn't really appear in my book. It'd just be a side note. Uh, question 12. Would there be organizations who take advantage of Pokemon like Team Rocket in your book? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. There would be Pokemon trainers like you wouldn't believe that just sell out the work that the Pokemon do. After all, Pokemon are tools, and somebody's going to specialize in a particular kind of tool. We have carpenters, you know. We have uh, uh, programmers who specialize in computers. There's going to be some people who specialize in the use of Pokemon. Animal trainers, if you will, only more with sentient animals that are known as Pokemon. Hmm. What's over here? I don't remember. I don't remember any of this, honestly. Hmm. Where does this go? Did I come here? Have I been here? What am I doing here? God damn. I don't remember anything. I don't remember this. I don't remember where I am. What is this? Diglett's Cave. Have I been here? Crap. Um, hmm. Character questions. Who is the protagonist of this book? We'll go with Quill. She's the person who goes through the greatest amount of growth, even though the story is about Drait. Uh, I would even go so far as to say that Drade is the antagonist, since he's the person who causes the most amount of change. Yes. By the way that I define antagonist and protagonist, Quill would be the protagonist. Uh, let's see, what is the one Pokemon that best describes your protagonist? Ooh. Hmm. 
Quill is a slave that was trained to be a bodyguard. She is a very calm person by nature, but is capable of short and extreme bouts of violence when necessary. Um, you know what? We'll go with Hitman Lee. Seems like the most spiritual attack Pokemon I can think of. 15. If a Pokemon existed in your book, how would your protagonist feel about them? Uh, pretty much the same way. If, if Pokemon are slave, like I said, and Quill is a, a slave, then she would think of them as co-workers. Basically. Yeah, pretty much. Most of the animals in my world are semi-sentient anyway, especially Ibises. I, I like Ibises. They're adorbs. Ibises and crows. They're, they're totally adorbs. Um, <laughs> anyway, but, um, yeah, it, it would just be, oh, look, another animal. And the more sentient ones, like the psychic uh, Pokemon types, would be... Do I have a bike? What am I doing walking around? God damn, what is wrong with me? All right, anyway, so yeah, it would, it, honestly, it, there wouldn't be that much of a change as to how uh, she would feel about Pokemon. No, my bike, I had to take it off. Let's see here. Uh, question 16. Describe your po protagonist's dream Pokemon party. Um. Okay, well, they'd all be fighter type. So you'd have the uh, the best Pokemon of all time, which is Mankey. You've had primates. You'd have um, maybe a couple of rock types to round things out. Uh, a couple of, I don't know, uh, Geodudes, maybe. I don't know. Rock, rock and fighting. That, that'd be what she'd go for. Uh, even though she was is trained as a scribe more than anything, she... She, she's definitely about about the the fightings. 17. Pick a Pokemon game. Card game. If your protagonist was the main character in that game, what starter would they pick? Be a rebel. Hi. Primate, no! Why must you turn against me? Okay, we're going to pull out the false one in this one. False one. Go ahead. Is that all you got? Oh, you're adorbs. No, you're adorbs. Have a flamethrower. <laughs> Wait, why did C-3PO get, get an... Oh my god, what is wrong with your eyes? I've forgotten that your eyes, man. They're scaring me. What, what am I doing? Oh, uh, pick a Pokemon game. Starter game, uh, fighting deck. That would be it, fighting deck. Because that's, I don't think it is a starter Pokemon in any of the games. I think it's always been a mix between, you know, fire, water, or uh, leaf types. But um, if we're talking about the card game, which is the game that I started with, then that is pretty much her starter deck. Let's see here. Um, 18. If your protagonist existed in the world of Pokemon, would they want to be a Pokemon master? If not, what else would they want to be? Tricky. Um. Let's see. Man, that changes a lot of things. We'd have to ask how she ended up there. Uh, Quill is... Quill was born as an Ify, which is a slave race, kind of uh, rabbit-headed creatures. Their their totem god is Lord Rabbit. Um, so she kind of started, was born into slavery, which is one of the only two ways. Like the, Slaves is not a small thing. It's not a throwaway line. The, the, the entire book is about different kinds of slavery slavery like slavery to one's family so if she were born in the pokemon world she would not be a slave because the rules of slavery are in anilo which is a city state that has slaves and one of the few that do so 
Uh, I guess I guess you probably would be like any kid and want to be a Pokemon master and then completely rock the house with Geodudes and Onyxes and and Hitmonchans. The duo, you don't belong here. The false one will punish you. You are done. Repeat questions 13 through 18 using your antagonist, which would be Drake Felfkin, the person who causes the greatest amount of change. He's the one that literally changes her life, not always for the better, but at least for the something. Uh, Drake, let's see, who is the antagonist of this book? We'll go with Drake because of his need to, uh, okay, wow, how did this work? No, no, I gotta, let me put down the controller for a second there, take a sip and explain this. Anilo is a politically motivated city. There's a lot of background work, a lot of unseen mechanisms going on, some gears turning we can't always see. For those reasons that I don't want to get into, because then I would be outlining the entire book to you, the Ixar is also investigating the death of Keen, Drake's sister. Since the death of Keem may implicate one of the other council members of the, of the city. The city has like six council members. Two of them are one person. It's complicated. It's complicated. Quill is the Ixar's slave as a bodyguard and is put on loan to Drake because the XR has an interest in finding out who killed Keem, and two, to spy on Drake to see what else he's going on to and possibly get information about the Felf people. Because of that, uh, Drake is so different-minded from the rest of the city that he changes Quill's perspective, and eventually her life. There's also a discussion between the two. Quill has accepted her slavery, uh, the, accepted slavery and accepted herself as a slave, whereas Drake finds the very concept of slavery vulgar, and they go back and forth like that. Drake is the antagonist. Let's see, what one Pokemon would best describe him? Hmm. Mewtwo. Although not as rage-filled, you know, it's not trying to destroy the world. Let's see, if a Pokemon existed in your book, how would your protagonist feel about them? Um, it, some of the dumber ones, same as horses, you know. It's, we, we need, an, we, we train animals to do things. For the more intelligent ones, he would probably be an advocate for their, uh... Be, he would probably be someone who tries to free the, the smarter ones. Like, he and Mewtwo would probably be a friend. He's very much about, like, uh, everybody should be allowed to choose for themselves. Describe your protagonist's dream party, or dream Pokemon party. Uh, Drake is very in, uh, intelligent and prizes um, reason above all else. So he would probably go psychic. Uh... No, let me see. A couple of Abras. Probably Kadabras. Maybe do all of the Abra and Kadabra action there. And nobody gonna fight me? No? Alright. Yeah, I would say let's let's give him let's let's make it all magical. Let's let, let's go into second generation too, because I don't know any of the second generation on. I only played Pokemon red, blue, and I think I played a little bit of yellow. I, I don't know the rest of the Pokemon. Uh, is there is there a, a literary one or a clock? Clockmaker? Isn't there an owl that kind of looks like a clock? Whatever that owl is. Yeah. We'll, we'll go with that. He'd be on the team, too. Pick a Pokemon game. If your protagonist was the main character, they, or if your antagonist was the main character, what starter would they pick? Bulbasaur. But I don't know why. I'd, I'd come up with a reason why later. And it would be this deep, involved story about their life. Hey, I'm back here again. I wonder. No, 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 not items. 
Uh, do I have the helix? Do I already have the helix on again? Maybe I put him away. Bird Jesus, we're putting you in the front. Oh yeah, that's what I was doing. Surf. Do 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 do. Oh come on, there's nothing here. Well, that was useless. Okay, and finally, if your protagonist exists in the world of Pokemon, would they want to become a Pokemon master? No, no. He doesn't care. It's it's not in his skill set. It's not what he'd do. Drate is uh, is not that kind of person. Ooh, I don't have that, and I want it. How do I get it? Okay, Linder, you're up. There we go. Ooh, TM16, what the hell that, what the hell? It's my wife. This'll be funny. Okay. <laughs> Uh, if not, what else would they be? He would be what he is now, a clockmaker. Good lord, how long have I been recording? I don't even know. I don't know how much room this is going to take up either. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and save. Do, do I need... I've been playing this game for 58 hours. Considering that I've probably sped this up by a factor of two, that's more like 30 hours. Mm -mm. Alright, well, <clears throat> I'm going to end this now. And plus, Pokemon Let's Plays always turn out real bad at the end. So, I'm not going to go any further in this game. Well, that's my vids. And, uh, I guess i got to get to work on other vids so that this video won't be the only thing that I have to say is going to be put up this week. That would be embarrassing. Uh, I will see you guys later and have nothing but fun.